Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar down a half step. Now, I get a lot of messages asking about my tuning, so I just want to do a quick video showing you how to tune it down. So yeah, let me grab my guitar and here we go. Alright, here we are. Some guitars have a tuner built in. Um, if you don't have that, you can use a phone. There's a lot of apps out there. I'm going to use a tuner on my guitar, so let me get that on. All right, now what it means to tune down a half step is you're just taking it from a standard tuning and going a half step down on each string. All right, a half step represents one fret. So two frets is a whole step. For this video, we're going a half step down. Okay. All right, we're going to start with the E string and take it down a half step, which will make it a D sharp or E flat. They're both the same. Uh, some tuners say different things, so... So we're just going to start dropping that down, and you're not going very far, it's just a half step. Okay, there we go, it's D sharp, now we'll move on to the A string, which should drop it down to either A flat or G sharp. Remember they're the same. So on my tuner it says G sharp. Okay, now we're going to take the D string and drop that down should be a C sharp and or D flat on my tuner it's a C sharp okay now we're going to take the G string and drop it down to an F sharp or G flat okay now we'll take the B string and we'll drop that down to an A sharp and or B flat. Okay, now we're going to take the high E string, it's the same as the low E string. We'll drop down to a D sharp. Okay, there we go. And we are dropped a half step down. What you'll need to do is go back and fine tune each one because What's happening is the strings are loosening a little and it's taking the tension off the neck. So you'll have to go back and kind of fine tune each one, but it shouldn't take that long. Now what I like to do is leave my guitar tuned down a half step always, just because a lot of songs that I play, um, I don't play them in the original key and uh, it just makes it easier. Vocally, it matches my voice better, so that's a reason why people do that. And it's a little calmer as far as like uh, when you really bang on the guitar or something. It's a little quieter. It doesn't. It's not as tingy or high, you know. It just gives it a kind of a fuller tone, in my opinion. Now, if I want to play a song in standard tuning, instead of tuning back up, you know, because if you tune down, tune up, that puts a lot of pressure on the strings, and you'll end up breaking them eventually. So what I do is I take a capo, put it on the first fret, and now you are in standard tuning. And you might have to go back and fine tune. Now if you're looking up the chords for a song or something and it calls for capo three, well what you're gonna do is just remember you're a half step down. So you're gonna go one, a half step up, one fret up from what they're calling. So if it's a capo three, we're gonna go to capo four and then we're in the same key. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this. Put a comment below, maybe something else that you want to see or learn, just something simple. And like I said, I get a lot of messages asking about my tuning, so there's a lot of other tunings that I like to use when I'm writing, so maybe I'll do videos on that too. So anyway, thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Later.